Hi, this is Thesia, Havela's Family Farms, and it's already been kind of an eventful morning. Uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, my wallet was in my purse last night, and I don't, I hardly ever carry a purse, but I was doing a, a church thing, and you just don't carry wallets when you're wearing a slacks or a dress, you know. So I had my purse. And apparently it fell out of my purse last night. Thank God it fell out here in the property, but we're, we're in the middle of 40 acres and I didn't even miss it because I hadn't got around this morning, you know. Well, I mean, I knew that my, I knew the wallet was supposed to be in my purse and I went out to go do chores this morning and I thought, well, I'll just look for my, I'll get my wallet out of my purse whenever I'm done. No, apparently it fell out of my pocket, not in my pocket, it fell out of my purse last night when I was unloading the car. And I didn't notice it. And Tom comes out, and he and I there were some cards. He goes, "These cards look familiar." And I went, "Oh my gosh, those are out of my wallet." And so we found those cards in one place. We found my wallet in another place, and all the money that was in it was gone. It was like nearly two hundred dollars, something like that. So we looked around and looked around, couldn't find it. I thought, well, that stinks, but. <laughs> not much I can do about it and then I looked over and my puppy had taken a bent I don't know why Tom doesn't just throw stuff away when he cleans out his truck he decided to put it somewhere else and there was a bent broom and and he drug it over to a hillside over there and I still see the broom on that little hill and so I followed him over there and there was my pile of money <laughs> still folded neatly I mean it's like three different piles but it was still folded neatly and I stuck the money in my pocket and now I'm or in my wallet and the one at wallet's in my pocket now so at least I know where it is and I can feel it but it is a beautiful day it's still a little bit cool it's supposed to get up in the 60s today you can't hardly beat that and uh, so, of course, I've always got some sort of little project going. I think I'm going to try to do some more clearing of some of the garden or just, just do some garden work. It's, <clears throat> I've been emotionally drained the last few days from a variety of reasons and having trouble and getting in gear and doing stuff. So it's time to, sh time to shake it off and get to work. I almost forgot to tell you what I was going to do today. Uh, my biggest thing is I'm going to get this tarp up. Looks like it's a <laughs> poor thing. Looks like it's been ripped up in all the wind that we've had and I hadn't taken care of it. But I'm going to get the tarp up and all the things that was holding the tarp over my garden. And basically just kind of do a clean up in the area. I do have a couple of plants. I think, yep, I've got one plant here that has survived. I need to water it. So let's get started. Well, of course the wind picks up, but I got, I believe I got all the plants cut and left the roots in the ground so they can rot through the winter, hopefully, and make a, a little bit of nutrition. I got some of this raked up. This is all grass that apparently is alive and well. So uh, I got cleaned up enough where now what I'm going to start doing, because this is open over here now, and I'm going to start bringing up the feed bins put them up here that uh <clears throat> kitty pool for the ducks they it's the my other one died yesterday but i'm gonna put them up here and i'm gonna start moving around i'm gonna put them in different places throughout the rest of the well probably until january i still gotta clear all that out i'll probably cut that on down and then put the tarp back on top of it that's where the tarp was here 
And I don't know what I'm going to do for ground cover. I need more wood chips. I have no idea how I'm going to get them in here. Because I'm just not into one wheelbarrow load at a time. I don't know. But this looks a little bit better. Cleaned up. Well, raked up, whatever. So, at least the birds will be more apt to come up here. Especially after I get some of their stuff moved up. Right, I don't know how my how good my light is, but it is time to catch turkeys and put them in these cages so we can get going. Well, I hope I got that. That could have gone a lot worse. This this guy wanted to help real bad, but I think we go we're about ready. I got to put the ice chest, or probably Tom will do it because he's better at doing that than I am. Put the ice chest in there, and so they seem to be pretty mellow. It's kind of weird because when you grab them, they tremble, but they didn't do too bad. And now I have an empty pen for the year, maybe. Well, I'm too late for the sunset. But I don't know if you can see it. But the moon is already out. But, you know, it was a pretty sunset, I think. I was kind of busy with turkeys.